Hi Year 10, welcome back. Today we're going to start looking at the fall of Cromwell. Now in the last video I made, in the last lesson you did, I mentioned one reason, which was the failure of his marriage to Anne of Cleves. Now that was one part of it for sure. Um, the second one is due to religion and the third one is due to the Nor Duke of Norfolk and his enemies. So if we go back to Anne of Cleves for the moment, so Henry needed an alliance at the time because there could have been a Catholic invasion from Spain and France. That all fell apart, he didn't need the alliance, he didn't like Anne anyway, and Cromwell is left looking a bit silly because he picked him a wife, which was a terrible marriage in the end. So Henry's upset about that. Now the other thing, Cromwell's gone really into the religious changes. He's getting rid of all the Catholic um, faith, all the things that go with that, you know, like um, having colourful statues, worshipping saints, um, having saints relics in church, priests aren't allowed to marry, that kind of thing. And Henry, basically, Henry just like hates the Catholic Church because he they wouldn't let him get an annulment to his marriage to Catherine of Aragon. But actually, he's still pretty Catholic, um, like what he believes in in his religion. And so he's not really that happy with all the changes that Cromwell's making. And neither is the Duke of Norfolk. Now he is a very full, powerful member of the clergy, um, not clergy, of the nobility. And he's also influential in Parliament. Now he's been a bit shady here because one day Cromwell is really, really sick with a fever. He's out of action and he can't go into Parliament. The Duke of Norfolk takes this opportunity to pass the Act of Six Articles, which basically means that he's going to go back to some Catholic ways. And Henry's like, oh yeah, I actually missed those days. I'm going to pass it. And while Cromwell is sick at home and can't object, they pass that law. So Henry's sort of taken a few steps back here, and he's gone back to his sort of more Catholic ways rather than getting rid of everything Catholic because he's angry with the Pope because he can't get a divorce. So that's sort of two reasons we've touched on. Um, the third is Cromwell's sort of ego. Everybody thinks that Cromwell is getting too close to the King because he wants power for himself. The Duke of Norfolk are even sort of like whispering in Henry's ear, poisoning his ear, being like, I know Cromwell wants to marry your daughter Mary so he can take over. He's going to kill you so he can be king married to Mary. And all of these kind of rumours, which may or may not have been true, but people start to turn on Cromwell. And it all goes very badly wrong for him. A few days, this literally happens in a matter of weeks, very, very quickly, and eventually Cromwell is executed. So... We have three main reasons, Anne of Cleves, religion, and power, and the Duke of Norfolk. So, we're going to go into more detail about the fall of Cromwell in future lessons, but that's just a little summary and a little me explaining it to you. So in today's lesson, you're going to find out more about the Duke of Norfolk and what led to Cromwell's downfall. Okay, as usual, any problems? Save it for next week if I see you or whoever in history sees you or send me a message on summer homework.